Welcome back, everybody. For the first time ever, I have recorded myself painting an entire sketchbook. So the team over at Etcher sweetly gifted me a few things in the mail, and when I opened the accordion sketchbook, I immediately had a vision for it. So before I get into explaining the exercise that I'm doing, we're going to go over the supplies. In this project, I'm using jelly gouache, paint pens, and watercolor brush pens. I'll use watercolor pencils in the beginning to kind of sketch out where everything goes, and then it dissolves when I paint, which is really nice. Now, as we start the painting, I will talk about the creative exercise that I was doing. This painting was seven feet long, so I started out by kind of just marking with the watercolor pencils which color I was going to be focusing on on that page, because this was going to be one really long rainbow for me. And Etcher also sent me these extremely adorable baby palettes. So there's two of them here that come in this tin. And at first I thought that they were too small. And then once I used them, I realized that they are literally the perfect size for a little palette to travel with you. Especially if you love painting outside like I do. Now, as we start the painting, I will talk about the creative exercise that I was doing with this whole project. Now, I have done a really good job of not trusting my intuition, and that has bled over into my artwork. So for this project, I only had one rule, act on every impulse. So every time that I got an idea for a shape or a layering technique or even a single brush stroke, that I wanted to put down, I have to, even if I know that it will look ugly. So it's about letting the creative ideas rush in without judging if they're quote unquote good or bad first. So I'm going to start in with this very light gouache layer to plot out where each color is going to go and to get rid of the white paper because that is what blocks me from starting. So getting down this first layer of color kind of gave birth to all of the shapes that were within it. I let that dry overnight and then this is what we were working with. I already loved it, so I knew that it would only get better from here. The beginning inspiration here was marble countertop meets coral reef meets Zentangle design. So I kind of pulled from everywhere because I don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm not an abstract artist and this was purely like an intention artistic freedom exercise for me. I don't really have any intentions to become a abstract artist, more so using it for my own creative development and creative practice. Um, I think abstract art holds so much value. I honestly just started with blobs. <laughs> When in doubt, start with blobs of color. So the color scheme that I had in mind for each individual page was to use a combination of monochromatic and analogous color schemes. I never use a limited color palette, ever. If you know my work, you know I use the whole rainbow and I will never change. Here though, I was practicing not only making the entire sketchbook a kind of cohesive seven foot long painting, but I also wanted to make each page look complete too, if that makes sense. I really loved this first page more than any of the others. I think it's my favorite, which I feel like I can never say for most of my sketchbooks. I feel like I always mess up on the first page and that is why, let's see, I've been painting since I was 15 and I did not complete my first sketchbook until I was 23, so it was, it was a little bit. But my perfectionism is both my greatest ally and my worst enemy. So I'm going to bow out with the voiceover now and let you enjoy the rest of the painting, and I will pop back in at the end, so enjoy!
I hope you guys enjoyed this time lapse video and I encourage you to do this challenge on your own for your own creative practice. So be sure to subscribe to see more and I will be back soon with another video.